Greetings. For I am mad peng. Ugh. Oh, okay then. Well, that was awkward. Greetings. For that I am mad penguin, and I will be playing Pokemon Enigma. And just like the playthrough from Alabaster. Oh, seems like we have a prologue. Alright, let's just jump right in then. Phasmatos tribulum exo ed motium at eto exo vet vo mote novon at exo est motium tirubum viro ex mote oxolu so ad novoso ex mote nova Phasmatos tribulum. Phew, those were some rough ruins. I certainly hope they don't go through that much trouble when I die. This chamber looks kind of perfect. Wow, look at those nice smooth columns. Perfectly chiseled Arceus statues. An immaculate marble floor. Ah, I shouldn't get distracted. I should get going. Can I run? So the music seems a bit loud, hold on. There we go. There we go. I apparently can't run here. <clears throat> anyway. It looks like something is supposed to go here. I think I remember what that girl said. As the earth expands to continue the eastward hue, as the colors of the rising sun there imbue. Maybe this is some sort of clue. Hmm. Hey, it looks like there are supposed to be stairs here. What happened? Hmm. Looks like something's supposed to go here. What's that? Ah, okay, well. As the earth expands to the west. Half of it, it seems. Uh. Hmm. Well, I clearly wasn't expecting the prologue here, but I thought I was just gonna cut to the character creation screen, and. But oh well, I guess I'll just explain once I get to that point. Uh, Ruby. Did it work? Uh, no. Uh, did I do it? Oh. I guess I'll just switch with another thing. Liking the graphics. Uh, where, yeah, the, the, oh, I'm gonna take the amethyst, the sapphire, not the amethyst. Uh, is there a sprint? No, there's not. Okay, amethyst. Hey. Oh yeah, I never got the chair. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow. Hello, team. I will never have for the rest of the game. <laughs> wow. Huh. Xerneas. This Willow guy is, well, a pretty impressive team. Uh, you know. 
I'm one of those people who would say, save the best for last, so... I guess... I'll put... Tree gun up front, I guess. Screw it. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, what crystalline water. And on top of the mountain, too. Where does it all come from? Huh? Who are you? Don't worry. I'm here to help. Wait for me. What? Who's that? Paracetamol's table teruvan ilvex at home exomotium vv novum admotium phasmatos tribun mote exo. Wow, what colorful language. Remind me not to teach that to my kids. Willow. Chistor? So, this is it, huh? You've caused enough trouble and mayhem over the last decade. But now, the power of Arceus is all mine. In just a few moments, he'll be here at my command. Do you know what this is? This is the tomb of Arceus. No, you don't understand. And what is it that I don't understand exactly? Enough of this. There's only way, one way we can settle this. If you insist. Uh, actually wait, no, I'm immune to psychic. But you probably have earthquake. Uh, uh night slash. Okay, yeah, I am faster because... Yeah, you do have Earthquake. Ah, uh, well that's not great. Oh wow, nice. I slash again- Oh, you got Bullet Punch. I should have known from my Alabaster playthrough. God damn it. Okay, uh... Okay, how fast are you in comparison to a Metagross? <laughs> I'll just use Talon Flame. Flare Blitz. Haha. <laughs> We're one for one. Dragapult. That's that new Galarian Pokemon. That pseudo Galarian Pokemon. Uh, yeah, Milotic. Wait, no, you're a fairy. No, Mala's a fairy type. Uh, yeah. Go! Play rough! Oh no, that is not good. Yeah, not kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Kill it. <laughs> oh no. Eh, um, uh, I do not have any. Okay, Iron Head. Oh boy. Uh, do I have any normal types? I don't have any normal types. That sucks. Uh, play rough? Oh, right. I forgot. Iron head. Please survive. Oh, okay. Oof, we're good. Alright. We're getting there. Volcarona. That is a switch to- that sounds like a switch to me. Gigalith, go! Hit him with that stone edge. Okay, I thought I actually- oh no! Oh, what are the odds of that? What are the odds of that? That is not good. Well then! Please hit the- oh. Oh no, it's gonna get worse. Yes! That's quad! It's quad! Please loot! Yeah! Woo! Tyranitar! I don't know how fast Gigalith is in comparison to Tyranitar, but I know Tyranitar is extremely slow. Okay, never mind. Not so much for that. I know I have a Mawel, but uh... 
I'll go Milotic. I... Wait, where's your... Oh, there it is. Hydro Pump, don't miss. Okay, good. It's stab. It's super effective, come on. Oh. That sucks. Ow. And that Ice Beam insurance. Wait, wait that's neutral? I thought you'd be weak to it. This isn't rock weak to ice. Some for some reason, I don't know. <laughs> or is it? No, it's ground that's weak to ice. Uh, Electivire. Hmm. Do you have a psychic move by chance? Hmm. Oh wait, no, no, no. Wait, you're a fairy. I forgot about that. <laughs> Moonblast! Moonblast this guy to oblivion- uh, this girl to oblivion, sorry. And you actually landed a thunder, but uh, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Wasn't that effective as you intended, huh? And last Pokemon. A Dragonite Sting. Really like the mo- really like the sprite so far. Anyway, Moonblast! Oh, wait, what? Huh. I certainly wasn't expecting that, huh? But that didn't really matter, because fairy types. <laughs> a What? No. Years of training? And it's all lost? Well, it seems as though if I won... You think that just because you defeated me in a battle means I'll just give up? That I'll just walk away and play the hero? I'll kill you! There's nothing. Ah, uh, there's nothing stopping me. Nothing I tell you. No. Huh? Stop before you embarrass you embarrass yourself. You're coming with me. What? What? Who are you? Who are you? Just... what just happened? And that was the last I ever saw of him. Sometimes I hoped I would find the masked stranger again, but fate had other ideas. I had never even learned their name. The Primal Order's idealist leader had been removed. His body was found several weeks later washed up on a small coastal shore and confirmed dead. Many of the members of the Primal Order had been arrested for war treason. Though even today, a few of the members still remain true to Tristor's beliefs. After, the day, after that day, the sun shined brighter, the sky was clearer, and there was hope. Hope that the region would forever be peaceful again. Hope. For all. And that's my story. It's been fun- Yeah, it's been fun talking about this. We should do it again sometime. Hello? Ah, there we go. Can you see me? Great. My name is Prof uh, Professor Willow. Do you remember me? We spoke a few weeks ago. I was calling about the job application you put through. Oh, there I go again, getting ahead of myself as usual. Let's slow down. Do you need any assistance with the controls? What are the controls for this game? Please quick save. Oh, this fast forward. Nice. This fast forwarding. So it's alt. Why don't you go ahead and select one of these avatars? Anyway, now time to divulge this information on how I'm gonna do be doing this playthrough. Just like the Alabaster series, I intend to. I make every single decision that impacts the story based on, well, basically a mindset and personality I have specifically designed for uh, my character. And from the Alabaster series, uh, my first character, my character there was Ravon, and who is a Darwinistic 
a person who has a Darwinistic point of view on life, who respects nature and hates those who would commit crimes against the natural order in general. Now for this, now for this character, this will be a she. And she will be, I guess, white. How should I refer to you? Like I said, this will be a she. What is your name? Yes. Her name will be Hayden. Now, this character... This character is, I suppose, in a sense, chaotic good. She... She aspires to become a Pokemon professor, hence why she has applied to become an assistant to Professor Willow. And she is... She seeks to get into Pokemon research that would help revolutionize basically society and help improve the welfare of everyone's lives. So she basically wants to pretty much utilize utilize well Pokemon research as well a form of philanthropy in order to improve the lives of those who would need it. And yeah, in general, she she wants just wants to do good for the world, and I suppose she wouldn't be afraid to even violate laws in secret in order to do what's actually right for whatever situation she is in. But that's only if it actually calls for it. So, without further further ado, let us advance. Aiden, yes. Anyways, I was saying, I was calling to say that you got the job. I greatly look forward to working with you in the near future. I'll send someone over to escort you this way. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Present day. Ridgewood. What a lovely town. Oh, is someone at the door? A web page is ah sorry about that. A web page is open to Pokemon.com. The drawers are full of books, binders, and Pokemon cards. It's my desk, full of clutter. On the desk is my phone, in the drawer contains my prized Pokemon. It's my soft bed, if only I had time to take a nap. Why do I need so many potted plants in my house? The wardrobe is full of clothes. The drawers are full of po books, binders, and Pokemon cards. The trash can is empty. Okay, you said that already. Oh, sweet. So this is the Cerber Isles. So, where's Ridgewood? Please, oh, okay, that, that hasn't been developed yet. Etna Wasteland, Firelight Laser. Laura Town, Leo's Mines. Where's Richwood? Are we down here? No, that's Polly Island. Ah, there it is. Okay. Neat. The mini fridge is stocked full of refreshing drinks. Hmm. I'm actually feeling kind of thirsty. Fresh water. My sink. I already did all the dishes. Hmm. I barely ever use the oven. Um, hello? Are you Hayden? That's me. Great. Can I come in? Sure. Thanks. So, what can I do for you? Well, first off, all, my name is Brady. And I work for Professor Willow. I'm here to escort you. Ah, 
escort you to his lab. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. If you're if you're noticing the number of <laughs> speech difficulties, it's mainly because I'm wearing my braces. So try not to mind that too much. Anyway, he's already taken care of our train tickets into the city. All right. Also, maybe you want to change first. I don't think showing up in your pajamas would be the best first impression. Oh, oops. I'll go get it ready. Feel free to make yourself comfortable. I'll wait, okay. I'll wait here. And this is my wardrobe. I'll probably need some better clothes. I can't exactly head to work in my pajamas. Hmm, how about... Perfect! Hey, you didn't change clothes. Okay, okay, these n clothes are pretty nice. But maybe I want to change back later. Hayden picked up the clothing case. Alright, I may want to bring my phone as well. Pretty sure I left it on my desk. Let's see what she looks like. Hey, that's... That's pretty good. Hayden picked up their phone. Aiden also dug into their drawer, pulling out a Pokeball. Inside the Pokeball contains the Pokemon... Oh! Okay, I thought this game was gonna... Uh, have us pick between Gen 1 to at least Gen 7... Actually, no, up to Gen 8, because... Yeah, because they actually have Gen 8 Pokemon, so... I thought it was gonna actually pick the stars from that range, but... Okay, so we're just picking out the Gen 2 starter out of the gen 2 starter line then uh, what would fit Hayden because I mean any of them would fit her <laughs> not gonna lie she's one to well adapt and she's always I know she's interested in yeah basically the research of Pokemon biology so really she could use either one of them Yes. I'll go with Totodile. Hayden obtained Totodile. Eh, I'm not a nickname guy. Alright, now that I've taken care of have that taken care of, I think I should be ready to go. Oh, I can't interact with my Totodile. What's the ah? What's the nature of this Totodile? Bashful. That's that's neutral, I believe proud of its power, power, so that's, yeah, high attack IV, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, that's really high. <laughs> Sheer force removes added effects to increase move damage. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. And, you know, stretch in there. Okay. Overall, pretty good. I'm just gonna quickly save. Come to the dial. Let us go. I think I'm ready. Hmm. Those clothes are pretty awesome. Really? You think so? Thanks. And hey, I didn't know you had a Pokemon. That's super awesome. Well then, if you're ready to get going, I'll meet you down at the train station. Okay, gotcha. Now, before we head there, of course, in typical Pokemon game fat oh, that's locked. In typical Pokemon game fashion, we are to explore. Hey Hayden, where are you off to? I just got a job over in Perennial City. Oh really? That's so cool. Good luck with that. Oh toot. Oh hello dear. How are you? Would you like me to whip up some tea for you? No thanks. I'm, besides, I already got like a bottle of fresh water. I'm good. <laughs> Yuck! Mom and Dad told me I can't go down to the basement anymore. Apparently, there's some disgusting Pokemon down there. Hey, there's no Pokemon that's disgusting unless it's a Grimer, Muck, Trubbish. Yeah. Okay. No, never mind. Uh, I. 
I take back that statement. It's alright, we'll get that situation sorted out soon. I submitted a job request into the trainer center, but I have no clue if they have it posted yet. These diglets are really starting to worry me. Wait, you have diglets in your basement? Oh my. Hello, diglets. Okay, they're not that disgusting. I mean, you're the mole Pokemon, but honestly, they're... They're not that bad. They're not that bad looking. Socialite. Sometimes I couldn't handle the bustling city. Moving here was one of the best decisions I made. I see. A few of my friends teased me for moving here, saying it was a place for old people and stuff. But the smile on my daughter's face makes none of it matter. My daddy, br <laughs> my daddy brought me the super cute ribbon. CC. <laughs> Wonderful. That's nice. The water is much clearer here than up in Perennial City. And it doesn't matter to me as long as I get to fish. I'm happy. I see. Uh, I think I have the. I can't run. Oh wait, no, I can. But I. Toggle run button's not- Okay, I just have to hold down the space bar then. <laughs> okay then, guess we head off to the station. Hmm, according to this, the train statistics are perfectly fine. No need to worry during your train ride. That's foreshadowing. I'm sorry, I'm a bit busy at the moment. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. This machine is very complicated and I'm not sure what all the buttons do. I see. It's an electronic ticket vendor. No need to use it though. Ready to get going? Let's go. Okay, let's go. I have our tickets here. Everything looks good here. Enjoy your trip. Come on, Hayden. I'm excited to show you around Perennial City. Attention passengers, we will now be departing. Enjoy the ride. <clears throat> Come on, let's go find a seat. I'm on my way towards Perennial City for my daily commute. Train tickets cost a lot, but they're so much cheaper compared to the renting an apartment in the city. I see. Today is bring your daughter to work day at the office, and my little Natalie is very excited. Daddy's bringing me to work with him. Work with him today. He says that if I'm good, he'll buy me ice cream. Well, you better be good then. That's a yeah. Okay, that's a healing machine. That is good to note. Um, I think I overslept. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Unfortunate. Hello, ma'am. I enjoying your ride? Well, uh... Eh, it's average. I'm terribly sorry, but we ran out of drinks on the way here. And we were unable to stock up on more. Which means you, we don't have anything to serve you. I see. I was offered a gig on Ray Island. Playing in front of an audience in a lovely tropical resort. Sounds like fun, huh? Indeed. Oh, okay. Ready to see Perennial City? How far is it? It's probably an hour and a half away. And once we arrive, the lab is a couple of blocks away. Anything else? Tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Are you a trainer? I actually befriended a Gumi a few weeks ago. Found him in an alleyway. He was hurt badly, so I took care of him. Gumi's almost gotten to full strength, but I'm not sure if he's cut out for battles yet. I only wish I could get revenge on those thugs who hurt him. It absolutely sickens me that people could even do that to a Pokemon like that. Who's your family? 
I was adopted at one years old by the Silva family. Mom or siblings? My mother died when, died when I was ten. She passed giving birth to my sister Lucy. What do you want to know? Birth parents? Never met him. Probably won't. Love life? Actually, I'm single at the moment. What do you want to know? Oh, Professor Willow. What about him? How did you meet? He's an old family friend. He came over one day and introduced himself and invited me to work with him. Oh, Professor Willow? Is he a trainer? He's one of the strongest trainers I know. Is he nice? He studies the power of Pokemon and where it comes from. He's trying to find new ways to have Pokemon help our daily lives. It's super cool, but I'm sure he'll talk more about it later. Well, that so happens to be Hayden's interest. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. So, uh, why don't you tell me about you? Well, I moved here a few months ago. You know, get a new start. Where'd you move from? Johto. I always wanted to go there. That's so cool. An hour passes by. We should get... We should be getting pretty close now. Oh! What was that? Why are we stopped? Attention passengers! I apologize for that. We have some, um... Unexpected turbulence. We will be paused momentarily. Thank you for bearing with us. We should go see what's going on. Come on, to the conductor's cabin. Wait, we aren't allowed in there. It'll be fine, let's go. What's going on? You shouldn't be in here. And we shouldn't be stopped. Just tell me what happened. I think we hit a fallen tree or some sort of rubbish. I'll go check it out. Come on, Hayden. It wasn't my fault, I promised. Hmm. Just as I got on my coffee break, too. Well, something is certainly up. This train is deluxe as it is safe. Well, we'll see about that. Well, that's the problem. A bunch of wood is placed here. What is that? Aiden, are these chop marks? Yeah, looks like someone put this here. Who would sabotage the train like this? I guess we would. Who are you? We're here to avenge someone. We? Yup. We. Avenge someone? Who? It doesn't matter. We're the Holy Order, and we always win. We always win because we serve Tristor. Even though he's gone, his memory still guides us. Wait, Tristor? I don't think... Now give him over, or we'll take him by force. I think we have to battle Hayden. Then we'll take him by force. Bring it. Alright, this is our first time working to Oh wow, your Gumi is two levels higher than me. Well... Don't disappoint. And they're immediately ganging on the Kumi. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh no, that is bad. Please level up. Yay. Ah, sweet. Aha! Don't worry, I got this. Don't worry, Brady, I got it. I got it, Brady, don't worry. Go to dial's good. A critical hit. Nice work, Totodile. Good work. Hayden defeated Holy Order Carlo and Holy Order Butch. What? No way! How will we avenge you? Amazing job, Hayden. You're a natural. Now, what should we do with these two? The boss is on our way, so watch out. Boss? If more come, then I don't know if we can handle them. Let's head back into the train. We'll be safer there. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's just let them go. They're not worth it. We should go warn everyone on the train. Hey, 
Hey, it's an emergency. People are coming onto the train and they want to harm a passenger. What? Are you certain? Yes, we have to protect the people here. We're strong trainers, but there's two doors, so we won't be able to defend against them if they come from that side. We'll go defend that side. Come on, Hayden. Good luck. Can I go out there? No, okay, no. Okay. Well... I, I was thinking we could train beforehand and just absolutely demolish the enemy. <laughs> okay, you see the same thing, okay. Let us advance. I know we can do this, Hayden. Thanks. And Gumi, I know you're not feeling well, but you have to push your, push through one more battle. And try not to get ganged on again. Can you do that? Wait, is that a talking Yumi? <laughs> okay, uh... Guessing that's a slight, uh... Error in the script. Thanks. Well, you think you can stop me, huh? We'll beat you. Oh, really? I'm the leader of this mission. We will accomplish our goal. Oh, yeah? Well, you're gonna have to get through us first. Bring it. 2v1. You're at a disadvantage. Oh, and if you're wondering why the Pokemon cries are cut out, uh, I'm playing this on a Mac, because I don't have a Windows computer, so I have to use Wineskin to play the game, so I'm guessing that's partially the reason why it's like this, but uh, I mean, it shouldn't affect it too much, though. Anyway, okay, I should have went for the Skroopy then. <laughs> okay, you take out the Poochyena while I take out that Skroopy. Before that Skroopy is maxed out on home pause, which is not a good thing. Level 8, got Rage, that's a useless move. One did that hit? Oh, okay, I'm fine. And we win. Oh, okay, that. Okay, your water gun's kind of weak. <laughs> Man, they're all just ganging up on Gumi. My goodness. How? I lost. I'm sorry, Tristor. Amazing, Hayden. Only a couple of battles, but you're pretty much a natural. Is anyone else coming in? No, it was just the three of us. I see. Anyways, I'm leaving. Well, I suppose we should go talk to the conductor again. Wait. Who's the Holy Order? You know, I really don't think I'm the best person to tell you that. You're relatively new to Serba, right? When we get to Perennial City, make sure to ask Professor Willow about it. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Just to make sure. No harm in healing. I'd like to personally thank both of you. You both battled wonderfully. Now, those trainers may be gone, but we still have another problem. The train's en engine is fried from hitting the logs outside. And our communication systems are all down as well. Can you both head to Perennial City on the foot and alert the train station there? Yeah, of course we can. Yeah. Besides, it's a great way to get stronger. Come on, we'll head out this. We'll head out right away. Be safe out there. Come on, Aiden. Let's go. Right. Before we get started, I have a couple of things you may need. Potions. Pokeballs. That's good. You can use potions to heal your Pokemon, and Pokeballs to catch new Pokemon. Perennial City is to the west, but running just running there would be boring. Anyway, this entire place is open to explore, so let's get to it. Wild Pokemon we can catch. If any of them actually, oh, there we go. 
Ooh, fletchling. Could he have a flame? Hmm. Eh. Let me see. I'll just, we'll just see what else is there in the wild. We'll, just, we'll first just check out what else is in the wild, so. Yeah. I'm just doing that for experience. Actually, what's the level cap? <laughs> I'm just curious. Is, wait, is there even a level cap? I. Okay, I have no idea if there's a level cap or not. It's usually for these fan games there's a level cap. <coughs> an A-Palm? Eh. Not really an A-Palm guy. Can I, oh yeah, we can. Uh. Okay, uh, do I go do I... Okay, do I explore south or north? I'll go north first. This place is so amazing, isn't it? Oh. Oh, well then. The baby! Don't kill me with a grass move, please. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, it's... Not bad, I guess, because this is a level 3. Alright. Seed! Oh my god. Why? I'm glad they're not high level. But yeah. Wow, I'm kind of at a disadvantage at the beginning, huh? Oh well, I can still work my way through it. And I immediately retreat back to the train so I can heal. Alright then. Yes, we continue north and explore. Mossy rocks, so you can evolve an Eevee to an um not Umbreon, a Leafeon. Pet, eh, not really. So it seems like you could catch a variety of the first route birds. I can harness the power of the wind. You wanna see? Show me, Fletchling. What a gun! And defeated. Back. Yeah, Pinkie Pet's not that great. I don't think Two Cannon's that great either, so. Bird Superman. The wind was blowing the wrong way. I see. There doesn't seem to be any other Pokemon. Maybe it's hoping to kind of get a rare Pokemon out of this. Or, actually, no, I shouldn't expect that from the first round, but. I don't know. I don't know. None of them seem to have captured my eye. Certainly not that one. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually... I'm actually hoping to, I don't know, catch some Gen 8 Pokemon, because I never actually played Sword and Shield, so... It'd be a new experience for me. else is there? Nothing it seems. Oh. Timid paint. What's that? Oh. When a Pokemon smells this mint, its speed will grow more easily, but its attack will grow more slowly. Oh, so these are like nature changing items. Oh, that's pretty convenient. So it literally just changes their personality as a whole. <laughs> Man. Picky pa eh. Not interested. Lovely.
A ru ruins, huh? Nah, I like shift tree. Uh, city outskirts. Is there not much here? Oh, hello. Isn't it absolutely fascinating on how the mystery of these ruins are still unknown to us? I'm a scientist studying the ancient people rumored to live here. Care to help with my experiment? Or well, what's your experiment? Water gun! And one shot. Dene, oh boy. Okay, you got no electric moves, we're good. Hey, hey. Well, that didn't help with my experiment, but it was fun. Well, that was, I guess, kind of unnecessary for you. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'll just use a potion. Actually, I could have just used the fresh water. Oh no, actually, no, that heals 30. I, I, I want to save that then. Uh. Oh. Gosh, I hope they find Timmy soon because I'm not getting tired and I want to go back to the hotel and sleep. Huh. Are you another. Oh, how much I would love to be able to open those doors and have a look at what's inside. Imagine many amazing artifacts, landscapes, and other amazing scientific discoveries just waiting to be found past that door. Oh, sweet apoka- oh. Natu. Psychic flying. I never actually used a Zatu before, but... I mean, it's probably not that great though. So, eh, I'm putting it on the maybes list. Dot. Nah, not really. Is that? Oh, it is charcoal. Neat. Oh, I did not know there was grass there. So then, what's the problem? We actually go to school over in Waterford Town, but the bus ride here was so long. We are able to come on this awesome field trip. It's so cool here. These ruins are such a scientific marvel. In case you didn't know, Serba was founded less than 100 years ago. We found evidence of life from these ruins from over 400 years ago. Could it be that there was some sort of ancient tribe of people who used to inhabit this land? If so, where did they go? This is what I study every day. I'm trying to find answers to these strange questions. Oh my, I can't believe. I'm sorry, I, I did see that. I don't suppose this is an easy favor to ask, but... Well, one of my students went missing in the museum here during our field trip. I searched everywhere, but can't find him. Could you take a look around for me? Sure. Oh my, I really appreciate this. I think the last time I saw Timmy, he was by the Brontosaurus statue. Maybe that's a start? Hmm. Uh, this is a Brontosaurus statue. Huh? The sign says it could be a piece from an ancient Pokemon. Okay. Hmm, there's a little button here. I should press it. Whoa. Oh, it moved! Oh no! Ah, uh, okay, then. So it's a puzzle. Uh, this one? Okay. This one? Okay. This one? Okay. Ah, that's easy. Why does it have this hidden passageway? Hello? Timmy? You found me? Thank you so much! 
I was just exploring the museum and I found this room, but then the door shut in on me. Come on, let's go before it closes again. And I want to know what this is. Ah, oh, it's not that great. Ah, oh, it's just flame. Yeah, not that great. Timmy, why'd you run off like that? I'm sorry. Well, whatever. We'll talk about your punishment later. Let's head back to the hotel. Thank you so much for finding Timmy. I'm sorry that I don't have any sort of reward right now. Our class is starting is staying at the Acacia Hotel in Perennial City. If you stop by later, I can give you a sort of reward then. Anyways, see you later. Well then, that was a uh, an interesting experience. What else is here? Uh, that just leads right back here. Or... Oh, actually no, this is a bit... Different? No, no, it's not. No, no, it's not. Okay. Probably evolved pretty late too. Uh, okay, I imagine that's like the way in. Ooh, a poker out. Oh. Not my type. Sorry. Anywho, Pokeball. Yay! Oh, young goose. No, thank you. Fish haven't been biting as much today. Perhaps I should move over to the eastern side. Oh, I need a break. Let's battle. Okay then. Fisherman Andy. Poor fish. And I have a totodile. Totodile. Oh boy. Wingle. Beat it up. Good work. I really needed that break. No problem. Uh, is there anything? No. Low tad. Eh. I already, I already got a Ludicolo from my Alabaster playthrough, so I do not want to use the same Pokemon, otherwise, it just doesn't really feel that much of a unique experience if I don't. If I just use the same Pokemon. Young Goose, no thank you. Where the hell am I? I'm in the beach. I like a potion. I wanna go collect that. Alright, I keep forgetting I can move right after I can select an item. Here I go. No. Nothing. Oh. Fletchling. I mean, I'm still thinking on that talent flame, but... We'll see. We'll see. What's in here? Ooh. Yes, that is automatically going to my totodile. Here you go. Got your little gift. And what do we oh it's a man key. Yeah, uh I already got I already got a primate for my alabaster playthrough, so no thank you. Actually, I never got to see what this is. Here lies Minna, our precious Pokemon. May you lie, or may you rest in peace. A Choodle. 
Ah, yes, an interesting Pokemon. That I won't use because I have a water type. Hello. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Unfortunately, Sally ran out of seashells, so Sally solved sadly. Oh, um, hello. Can I ask you a favor? Scattered across the beach are all sorts of cool seashells which I happen to collect. However, I only like I really only like the blue seashells, so you could you collect all the blue seashells you see and bring them back to me? Thanks so much. Well then. Let's collect. Uh nothing there. Yoink. Nothing here. Yoink! Uh, oh. Yoink! Yoink! Oh, oh. Oh, no, don't, don't go there. There's more down here. Yoink! Yoink! Uh oh, yeah. Yoink. Yoink. I think that's is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Uh Torfish. Lovely. I already got a water type, so no. And they're all just water types in the speech area. So that's a no for me. Alright, Sally. Here you go. Thanks so much. But is that all of them? Am I missing some? Uh Am I missing any? Uh, guess I haven't explored far enough. Hmm. I don't really see anymore. Piggyback, no. No, thank you. Pokeball. I have an actual chat to you, I don't think. My youngest and your are gonna beat you up. Sure they are. Youngster Jimmy. Water gun. Down you go. Water gun. And down you go. Aha! Go back at the train, and I might as well heal. Never actually explored any... Too f I haven't actually explored too far to the east side yet. Hey! Traveling on the railroad is dangerous! Try to stay off the path, alright? There's nothing. Yeah, I'm not interested in napalm. No, thank you. No. Any here? That I don't explore. I don't think I have anyway. Oh, I know I have. Yeah, I I think I'm pretty sure. I, yeah. I guess like back to finding these blue seashells then. I don't know how many more there are, but... Anyway, let us move! Hmm. Anyway...
anyway. I still wonder what the actual level cap is, but oh well. Guess, guess we'll never know. Still don't know what the other blue seashells are. I probably have to go further out west. If there's more area of the beach to explore. Oh, there's, I missed one. Is, is that all of them? Uh, okay. I think that's all of them? Oh, there. Wait. I think there's just a cave thing there, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to go there yet. Okay, uh, Sally, I have come with all of the seashells. I, I think, I think anyway. I've gone the wrong way. All right. Sally, I have returned with your seashells. Wow, you found 10 blue seashells? Thank you so much. Hmm. How about I give you this shiny thing I found earlier? Ooh, a big pearl. You can sell that for money. Thank you. Yeah, just a last minute checkup on the wild area. Doesn't seem to be any. Nothing good in particular, honestly. I mean, except for the fledgling, but I still don't know if I really want that yet. I mean, I could, but... Hmm. Let's just keep running. Oh, yeah, the cave. A lot of rocks. Hooray! I am he- Oh. Uh. Well then. I'm just gonna go through here. Um, yeah. Burnout the city is that way. Thank you. Oh dear. I'm so clumsy. What's wrong? While I was taking my morning stroll through the wild area, I seemed to have lost my father's pocket watch. That watch has been in my possession for my family for generations. Oh dear, how am I going to tell my father? Say, would you search around for it? I walk just south of the train tracks of the field, so it must be somewhere around there. I promise you I'll find you. I'll reward you greatly if you find it. Back out again. <laughs> Back out we go. <laughs> so south of the train tracks, he say, he said. I don't seem to see anything. Ah, there we go. It's the man's watch, and that ratter tot just stole it. I. I hear you. <laughs> so it went. That thing went. Oh. That ratata went west. How dare it. How dare it do that. Where are you? There you are. Oh. Oh, hello there. Rat gang, huh? Da -da -da. Water gun. Water gun that ratata to oblivion. Aha! You are nothing but food for my rat my totodile. Even your alpha is that weak. Let me just kick his ass to demoralize the Yang. As such. 
Easy. Bam, level 12. Radada. Water gun. Bam. Haha. -ha. Rat gang. Rat. Get out of here. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Picked up the man's watch. Well, he should be pleased that I got his watch back from a bunch of rats. You may want to get that cleaned. Because, you know, it was probably in that Ratata's mouth. Don't want Ratata spin all over it. Oh, I almost went past him. Ah, that's my watch. You are very incredible. I'll take that now. And for your reward, a nugget. Why, thank you. Well, I'll be off to my estate. Enjoy your reward. Oh, I will certainly enjoy it. Well, here it is. I finally made it. Perennial City. Wait, uh, what are you doing? Oh, this? This is my art. Come, take a look. It's very artistic, right? Yeah, I see. I'm Amy, by the way. I'm Hayden. So, Hayden, what do you think of my artwork? Uh, 7 out of 8. Too much, Amy. Oh, uh, yeah. Up top, I think you've just earned a spot in, my, in the Amy fan club. Meetings are every Wednesday. Don't be late. Oh, and bring cookies. That's very important. Amy, is that you? Oh my god, Xander? I haven't seen you in a while. What are you doing here? Very nice. You actually spelled your name right this time. Is that supposed to be funny? Oh, utterly hysterical. You know, next time you shouldn't sign your crimes like this. You have a status to uphold, and I don't want to see you lose it over some dumb thing you do like this. I know. So, who's your friend? Xander, this is Hayden. Hayden, this is Xander. My twin brother. Yeah, we don't look like twins or act like twins. But unfortunately, we still are. Oh, hi. Amy's status? Oh, Xander was referring to how I'm the fire type gym leader of Perennial City. That's so cool. So Hayden, are you doing the gym challenge? No, I'm here on a job to become... Well, I'm here on a job as a research assistant. So, yeah, no. Oh, that's too bad. If you were, then we would have battled at some point. Amy, no need to force her into something that she doesn't want to do. Alright, then how about we get into some trouble? You, me, and Hayden. Oh dear, I'm going to leave before things get too catastrophic. It was nice meeting you, Hayden. And Amy, please try not to get in trouble into any more trouble. Yeah, I think I'd better ditch as well. I'll see you later. Peace. Well then, that was an interesting exchange. I really love gardening, but I am often stuck at this job. Here, I can show you my love for gardening. Ooh, I thought you were going to battle me for a second. <laughs> I was kind of scared. Because <laughs> I have a water type Pokemon. Uh, nah. I mean, I would take berries, but then I'm probably just going to forget them later down the line. So there's really no point. Oh, look at a cafe. I'm so glad you like the coffee. Now tell me a little bit more about yourself, like, where you're from? She's too busy staring into his eyes to notice you. I see. Nobody prepares a frappe as well as Cheryl. She's wonderful. Mmm, this cappuccino tastes great. Is it a new blend, Cheryl? I'm glad you like it, Shona. And yes, I've added a touch of vanilla bean. Oi, bartender! I'll take uh, another. Uh, I'll borrow your famous uh, rum. Just uh, more bottle. You've had far too much to drink. You should head home and lie down for a bit. You'll feel loads better when you sleep it off. Yeah, I'll just do that. I'll just... 
Oh dear. Well, we'll just leave him there. Better not to move him at all. It'll do more harm than good, I'm afraid. Oh, that's Amy. Oh man, I don't think I can take another uh, sip of this. How can you keep <coughs> drinking them? Come on, Johnny, you gotta finish the whole bottle. Yeah, I just noticed Justin isn't here yet. He's probably out with his girlfriend, too busy to spend time with the bros. What do you mean I'm too young to drink? Hello, welcome to Cafe Mocha. We're a small coffee shop and bar. What can I get you started with today? I guess I like some water. Well, that'll be 400. Do you have that much? Yes, I do. Coming right up. Thank you. Ooh, Pokemon Center. Well, looks like we're both made. We both made it to, po to Perennial City. I almost said Pokemon City. Good job. So how are you? How was the traveling by yourself? It was fun. Yeah, traveling is always super fun. Anyways, now that you've had a chance to train up a bit, how about we test our skills against each other? Let's go. Wait, I think my. I think my Totodile's still- Oh no, we're good. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Rotat's weak. And I'm weak to- Oh, oh okay, that's not so bad. Okay. Ha! Ah. Bam. Come on, Jimmy. Pull through for me. I'll use Leer. Oh, well, ha. Oh. Uh, Leer, ha. Oh, that's... Huh. Anyway, ha ha. Scratch. And done. Level 13, bite. Yes. Get rid of uh, rage, that move sucks. Hey, that was pretty great. That was awesome. You really become a great trainer. You went in such little time. Now that we're supposed to head over to the trainer center, that's where Professor Willow has his lab. Just keep walking down the street and head north at the next block. I'll meet you there. I should probably just inform the train station of the situation. Well. Anyway, let's us heal. Oh, I got a four. Oh, that's a first. Wait, what? I said I... I only have one Pokemon. That's another thing they should fix. Is this a Pokemon? Oh, huh, neat. Uh, I'll just buy ten just for that premier po- Oh, okay, no, never mind. Uh, I should- Oh, wait, no, I should have my- have My nuggets and my big pearl. Yes. Already making a lot of money. Okay. Yes. Premier, yes. I'm so bored. I texted my friends asking if they wanted to hang out, but no one's responding. Entertain me! Youngster Johnny. Bite! Test out that new move of yours, which is working out nicely. Hey, Palm. Bite it. Oh, you're faster. Bite it. Bite it again. Huh. I really need to catch another Pokemon because it's otherwise totally I'm just gonna eat up all the experience. Thank you. Oh yeah, can I speed it up? Oh no, I can't. Okay, I'm guessing the controls don't really work with me here. Hello, P-Dove. Hello there! I'm just feeding the P-Dove. They love my homemade treats. Here, why don't you take some? Pokey Cracker. Oh, no. What's up? 
Pokecracker. Yeah, we treat that attracts Pokemon. It's shaped like a Pokemon. Neat. It's down here. Have a good day. Be on the lookout for trouble. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Perennial Harbor. Huh. Daddy says I'm not allowed to go to the harbor. He says it's too dangerous. But a lot. This all looks so fascinating. There's my champ. This here is the shack for us workers to take a break. Oh. Sheesh, I never should have gotten into the construction business. The only thing I do all day is lift heavy things. It's very exhausting. And who knows, maybe a few years like me, be able to stop by as a trainer. Ooh, premier ball. Dang it, John. Did you eat my sandwich again? Well then. We just have to wait for the boat to show up, then we can take all this junk to the Foley junkyard. I'm guessing that's a place I'll eventually be able to go to. Or in the next update, that is. Ah, jeez, where are they shift? This is so heavy. Uh, nothing there. What's this? Sewer system entrance. Sheesh, if I knew I was going to be so difficult, I would have called in sick. Can I go in here? It's locked. Okay. Here we do the accounting for the up incoming cargo shipments. As my boss says, tax everything. Yeah. Where if Jane puts me one more pin on my chair, I'm going to report to HR. Ugh, Clark didn't show up at office today. He was supposed to- Oh, I did not mean to skip that. Now I have a meeting in 10 minutes and I don't have anything to show. Hey, you're not allowed to be in here. I'll tax you just like I'll tax everything. Well then. Burn heal. Nice. Good for the fire gym. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else is here? Oh, candy shop. I love candy. Hi there. I'm Cassie. I run this little candy shop here. Can I help you with anything today? So many kids. Yeah, the kids can be uh, sometimes a handful, and occasionally I catch one or two sneaking with candies in their pocket. But it is great business. About the store. My mother founded the store when I was just 12. She named it after me. Together we ran the store and when she retired, I took over. Oh, that's neat. Can I get a job? I'm oh, sorry. We're, however, we're currently not hiring. Good luck with your job search, however. Hi there, I kid. I have some different kind of ice cream in case you're interested. It'll be 2,000. I could afford it, sure. What? A vanillaite? I'm sorry, I'm all out of it. What? You just gave me a vanillaite? <laughs> uh, I mean, the nature kind of sucks, to be honest. I mean, I could just straight up... Ah, uh, actually, I could just straight up test out the timid wind. It's got pretty good IVs, though. Icicle Spear. I'm pretty sure you're a special tactor, so... Well, let's test out this mint. There's a... Uh, yeah. Adamant? Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. Well, then. What? What? Ah, oh, that just made it worse. Ah, uh, what? What kind of mint is this? <laughs> I thought it was supposed to- Okay then. Can any dream or any Pokecracker? I guess I can find Pokecracker here. What can I do for you today? Oh! They sell like speed candy. Did you have a delicious mint? 
Pokemon smells as good as Special attack. Yeah, I. Yeah, isn't that what the adamant mid was supposed to do? Why did it. Why did my vanilla suddenly just. What? I am so confused. Why did the Tim. That. Okay, uh, okay then. Uh, I'll try it out. Thank you. Okay, we'll try this again. Ah, what? Okay, that's just a bug. I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's a bug. Apparently, every single mint changes changes your Pokemon's nature to admin regardless, it seems. Well, that sucks. Look at all this candy. Daddy, can I have some of this kind? Sure thing, kiddo. You sure, you sure deserve it after getting your A on that test. You don't think they noticed that the candy bar was missing, right? Oh, they would notice. I want some of this and this and this and this and this. Oh, no. Well, I got a vanilla. I love candy. I'm just here picking up some candy for myself. I sure do like the chocolate bunnies, but the sugar squares are also looking pretty great. How about I just get them both? <laughs> Alright, I guess uh, I'll switch to the mid light. And it's at a good level too, so... But then again, I'm against the fire gym, so this is probably not going to help us much. <laughs> uh, uh, it sucks. My husband loves throwing parties and having other people come to our house. Unfortunately, it leaves me cooking for everyone who comes. Yikes. Mmm, chips. Yeah, let's go. You can beat them. Oh. In my opinion, this party is kind of lame. The food is good, but what we're watching isn't interesting in the slightest. What are you watching? There's a TV show about a Pokemon tournament. The guy with the fire Pokemon is about to win. Okay. Hey, this is my party. It's pretty great, right? Well, I mean, it seems pretty tame. This is our family reunion. I worked really hard to plan it all. I just hope not everyone can make it. My wife did such a great job planning our family to get families get together. I can't wait until the game to start. Mom, when will all my cousins get here? I attend college at Waterford University. I had to take a few classes off today to make a reunion, but it sure has been worth it. Hmm. Oh, I love it when the entire family gets together like this. Oh. I just got my first Pokemon. You're going to be my first battle. I'm so excited. Let's do this. Camper Sierra. Oh. And immediate switch. Nice try. Anyway. Oh, no. Ah. Water gun. Oh, you're faster than me. Yeah, I'm not surprised that you're faster than me. Seems like there's already a few bugs I've noticed so far, but anyway, you know, like po those Pokemon that need to trade up to evolve, right? Like Alex Alakazam and Machamp. Our server has a different option for those Pokemon. Here, you just have to give them the Pokemon their favorite item, and they'll just evolve. For example, I evolved my Poliwhirl into a Polito by just giving it a King's Rock and letting it level up. I'm sure you could figure out how to evolve other Pokemon similar to that just by figuring out their favorite item. Huh. That's convenient. Oh, that's the game shop up in there. Tradition, oh. Guess I have to go there. Yeah. Well, let's, let's go. Hi, hi. Welcome to the trainer center. The place to meet up with fellow trainers. Find work or brush up on your skills. Anything you want to know about? Today, what's on the upper floors? 
On our lobby floor, we have the job board and shop. On the second floor, we have our starter selection room where we allow new trainers to choose their first Pokemon. On our third floor, we have small classrooms for trainers to learn the basics or brush up on their skills. On our fourth floor is Professor Willow's lab, and we're currently working on setting up our EV training room, which will be open soon. Uh, finding work. We have a job board where citizens can post their jobs, trainers can accept them, and complete the tasks for rewards. Many people from all around server post jobs on the board and it constant, constantly updates, so I recommend checking back often. You can find and accept jobs by heading up to the stairs on your right and checking out the board there. It's so cool watching all the big trainers come through here. I, I want to be just like them when I grow up. Oh my gosh, and then I found no jokes Apache Risu. She seems to be on the phone. Meanwhile, her picky pack's just forward pecking the ground. Uh, timer ball. Oh, that's good. I heard one of the rewards over at the job board was offering a rare Pokemon. Maybe I should check it out. Ooh. I'm guessing you're like the. Yeah, reward counter. What's on the board? Love's Quest. Let's do it. My girlfriend and I have been drifting apart ever since I started my new job. I'm insanely busy and I need someone to deliver her a letter for me. Sure. I'm most likely at my job right now, so please meet me in here, Perennial Harbor. I'll do that after I meet the professor. First, the start room. I already got a starter and I already got Pokemon, so I assume I'm not going to get any of them. <laughs> it's the professor's responsibility to hand out Pokemon to new trainers. It's very cool, actually. Let's see. Classrooms. Hi there. I handle the classes teaching new trainers. When, when it, whether that's explaining battles, IVs, or evolution, and everything in between. Currently, we're ho not holding any classes, but we're preparing we're preparing to start up a new one in a few weeks. Oh. Oh my, I'm so tired. My job here has been more and more demanding recently in preparation for the new students. Hey, would you do a small little favor for me? Sure. Could you run over to the Cafe Mocha real quick and get me a nice cappuccino? Just speak with Cheryl, the barista inside. Thank you so much. Oh, no. Willow's Lab. Is this Professor Willow's Lab? Oh, hi, sorry, what? Is this Professor Willow's lab? Yes, it is. What's your name? Oh, I'm, I'm Emma. Uh, what about you? I'm Hayden. Well, it's nice to meet you, Hayden. So what brings you here? Most trainers don't come up here. I'm the new assistant. Oh, that's great. So you must be the one Brady went to get? I'm the other assistant, so it's exciting to, like, we'll be work together. How exciting. Anyway, what took you guys so long to get here? We ran into trouble on the way here. Our train was attacked by some sort of bandits. Oh no, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh good. Well, you probably want to be meeting the professor now. I'll take you over to him. And there he is. Why don't you go say hi? Hello, professor. I'm here. Oh, hello. You must be Hayden, right? Yep, that's me. I'm so glad you were able to show up, although a little late if I may add. Yeah, we ran into some trouble and had to take the journey partly on foot. Oh my, that's both nerve-wracking and exciting at the same time. And would you look at that, you even got your own Pokemon. What a fantastic vanilla you have there. Professor, can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. Brady told me I should ask you about the Holy Order and... Who is Tristor? Oh, you're right. It, where is Brady? Professor? Ugh. Hayden, look, I promise I'll tell you the whole story later. Professor, I'm back. Ah, Brady. We were just wondering where you are. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Look, I, I was wondering if I could have the rest of the day off. Yeah, go ahead. Thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, anyways, I have some work to do. Oh, and Hayden, I know you just got back, but I was wondering if you would do an assignment for me. Let me know when you're ready. 
Well, oh well, we tried. Well, we tried. Look, I really want him to tell a story about Tristor too. He told Brady, but both of them refused to tell me. Oh well. Anyways, how are you? How about you? Oh, you want to know more about me? Oh jeez, where to start? Are you a trainer? Yeah, I am. I train a mighty Pokemon. Fennekin and I are best buddies. Anything else? About Perennial City. Any attractions? Well, there's Mungo Cafe, the sweet shop, a clothing store. As for non-stores, there's Silver Library and the West Perennial Graveyard. Anything else? About the lab? Oh, actually. Place for good mons? Well, you might find some tall grass, but they're not too great. Most of the time, you can't find Pokemon running around. A lot of the time, you'll need to do something before you can catch them. Anything else? About the lab? What do you do? Oh, you know, taking notes for Professor Willow while he's conducting research, going out, and doing little jobs for him. But when I first started working here, a few months ago, I was only good for getting Brady and Willow smoothies, so, uh, good luck for that. Anything else? Willow? Willow's pretty nice. He's a bit of an airhead, occasionally. He usually just rambles on about this or that. Anything else? No, that's about it. See you. Good luck with whatever the professor wants you to do. Probably... It's probably your initiation ceremony. Just kidding. Working with the Professor Willow is so easy. He never gets mad and he's always so nice. Gosh! Sorry, you surprised me. <sighs> I can't believe I'm so stupid! What's wrong? Well, you see, I accidentally left some of Professor Willow's lab research scattered throughout the building. I really need those notes. What, like this? Professor Willow's research notes, page 4. Oh. So, like that. <laughs> well, time to, time to catch them all, as they say. We'll work our way down. If there are any papers. Oh, there it is. There's one. Aha! I think that was, yeah. Aha! I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, that's all of them. Back to the lab. Here you go. I see so the Oh, you found all the papers. You didn't have to do that. Well, anyway, I suppose I should give you something. Here's that cool rock I found. Eh. I could sell it. Oh, isn't there a... Oh, yeah, the... There's... Oh, there's no shop guy. Alright. Well... I suppose, next episode... We shall be doing some side quests first before we go talk to the professor, just so we can prepare for everything, and yes, next episode we shall continue.